What is up everybody? I just bought a 15 foot aluminum John boat for $300. <laughs> As you can see, this boat's been used and abused over the years, but I think I can get this thing back up and running. Uh, it was only a $300 gamble, so I'm about to find out whether that was worth it. I know I'm gonna have to rebuild this uh, rotten transom, but I really hope that's gonna be the worst part of this. Um, also, if you wanna know how to retitle a boat in Texas, I'll be making that video shortly, so stick around for that. Also, uh, go ahead and give me a subscribe and hit a like if you find any of this useful. What is up everybody? So we are here in my $300 John boat, aluminum 15 foot that I bought for $300 online. Uh, Craigslist offer up, you can get them anywhere on there. So first project is gonna be fixing this rotten transom. So we're gonna replace it with wood waterproof coating it with Bondo. Just stick around guys, this is gonna be an adventure. So here's what we got. We got this, we got all the wood out. We got these, this channel that goes all the way. It goes up here too. A little crack here we're gonna have to fix. So I'm not gonna be able to just slide a wood, piece of wood down this channel and up this channel. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is cut out all these rivets and probably these two angles over here and uh, Put the new wood in and then secure it all back down either with rivets or with um, bolts. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, if I go the rivet route, I have to obviously buy a rivet gun. I do own one. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're just going to take out these channels and put the new wood in and that's all I can really do. So we're out here on the back of the boat. <clears throat> you can see all of this caulk that the previous owner has just globbed all over these rivets. So you can see what the rivets are supposed to look like. My guess is either they were leaking, they didn't want to fix it or didn't know how. So this was their solve. So I'm going ahead and already scraped it off on some of them. So. Okay, so the trick to popping out a rivet is get a drill bit. You want to go right in the middle. And when you're drilling metal, the trick is to, shouldn't the trick, the technique is to use a lot of power, a lot of force pressing against the metal, but low speed on the drill, okay? Otherwise you'll, you'll dull the drill bit. You drill right down into the middle of the bit of the uh, rivet head. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you don't have to go all the way through. And then you take your chisel, screwdriver, or whatever. And you bang it off just like that. Okay, and that just comes off flat you're not doing any damage to the to the boat or the metal or whatever you're unriveting and then you can just bang that out with a uh, flat point or some kind of oh. Yeah. Looks like 
I should say. Yeah, yeah. So the next thing we gotta do before we even put the wood in is we're gonna have to go through the whole process of cutting the wood, but this actually isn't that bad. We're gonna have to clean up this. Let's see if I can get you that uh that ugly mess, the um what do you call it, the corrosion that's already sitting in. So we're gonna we're gonna sand all this down, get this nice and clean and shiny. Uh, same with those parts that we removed. So the the brackets here, we're gonna go ahead and just clean these up. Hit them with the wire wheel. You know, we're gonna give this one a try. Hit it with the wire wheel, clean all that up, and then um, hit them with a coat of metal primer. surface um, I'm using denatured alcohol you can use mineral spirits and people use acetone I don't know this stuff works for me so you just want to get it nice and clean get all the debris off of it uh, make sure the paint holds really well to it you know, if you want to use something else you can use something else but um, alcohol generally works pretty good for me I'm gonna be using this Rust-Oleum self-etching primer. Uh, I've used it before; it worked really well. I'm sure there's like a billion different paints out there you could use, but if you got one that works for you, I say use it. Okay, so that wraps up day one. So far we've removed the old transom, removed the brackets, and cleaned up all the metal and painted it. Uh, on day two we're going to work on measuring out the new wood. We're going to coat all that in fiberglass resin and then hopefully get that installed. Stick around. 